it needs a face and it needs it needs feet but who wants to who wants to guess in the comments as to what this is going to be i filmed an entire intro um, this morning and this wasn't on What's up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm scribbles the artist and crocheter behind eclectic scribbles and welcome to a new video so today we are starting up a new studio vlog it is the beginning of a new week so i figured i'd show you what i did over the weekend and catch you up a little bit um if you notice that the camera and the video looks different it's because i'm filming from my phone instead of filming from my cameras uh, my camera or my camcorder because I swear the actual footage on the phone looks better um, so we're gonna test that out this week and we're gonna see how that works in addition I figured instead of lugging a bunch of different equipment around I could film from my phone while I'm at convention I've got a stand for it and everything and so I got this little mic um, it came in at the end of last week and I figured we'd give this a test run, see how the audio quality is on it, see if it drowns out the background noise, especially with the fan that is always going in the background, my air conditioner. So hopefully it will also be um, drowning out the background noise at convention and making it um, a little easier for you to hear me and me to be able to speak during the convention through the camera. So we're gonna do that. I filmed an entire intro um, this morning and this wasn't on, so. This is, this is take two, take two. Anyways, so I did a bunch of ads and stuff last week um, and was working on my shop, working on fair and working on all the behind the scenes stuff. Saturday was mostly admin for me. I did some art, um, but I didn't really do much of any crochet at all. I crocheted a few little tiny things, but that's it. Um, on Friday evening, because you didn't see what I did Friday evening, I made two teal voodoo dolls to match the two purple ones. Um, I still haven't put the embellishments or any of that stuff on the voodoo dolls yet, so you haven't seen the, the full completed version. But I did do two bodies on Friday night. I've been taking it easy on my hands a little bit, um, so taking a couple of extra breaks especially um, is, is good so I don't get like a repeated injury. Um, I've got some issues with the side of my arm here and then I've got some carpal tunnel issues in general so I don't want to overwork my hands too much. So I do give myself breaks. Don't think that I, I just crochet every night all night and I don't take any breaks from it um, and then run my business all day every day um, because that, that's, not, that's not true. I, I spend a lot of time on TikTok <laughs> and YouTube and um watching tv so i take i take plenty of breaks but let's see what i did yesterday because th the majority of this we're just going to call this this is how much i crochet in one day on a sunday so we've got a mushroom boy here big blanket yarn mushroom boy so he is here i got him in this nice sort of teal color the blanket yarn i, I really like the blanket yarn it gives you some nice chunky sort of items too i have got some some octos, Ooh, focus, 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 there we go, some octos, I've got both of these colors, I have got three of the blue, yeah. three of the, focus, there we go, three of the blue, and then two, two of the purpley color, there's the, the, these are baby blanket, Burnett baby blanket. They're super soft and super lush. I love them so much. Um, le oop. Let's look at um, a work in progress. So the, here's a little width. I don't wanna tell you what it is. I can tell you that it needs a face and it needs, it needs feet. But who wants, to, who wants to guess in the comments as to what this is gonna be? I wanna see who gets it. I mean, it's very obvious. If I give you the answer, it's super obvious, but uh, see if you can guess what it is in the comments. Then we've got this one. This is a work in progress as well. This is gonna be a cinema roll. I, I wanted to make sure I had a few little actually fan 
fan related items and so this one cinnamon roll i'm going to do a pom pom purin i don't know how to say that i don't know how to accentuate syllables um pom pom purin i'm going to do one of those i'm going to do a hello kitty i think but i was testing out a pattern for this and see seeing where it went and seeing if i like it so it needs a little eyes and a little mouth um, which i will do with belt um, but that's a sort of work in progress as well. And then we've got the itsy bitsy teeny weeny section of the of the stuff that I did this weekend. So I did some little worry octos. So these are little super mini, super cute little mini octos um, that I'm gonna put in a little five dollar bin on my table. So here they are. They're little, I'm going to call them, I'm going to do worry octos and worry whales. So these are, these are cute. These are the little octos and I've got to make some little whales. But that's those. There's six of those. And then I wanted, I, I'm on like a mushroom craze because I've been on a mushroom craze for like years because I just love everything mushrooms. I don't know if you can tell. Speaking of which, if you haven't already jump into the Kickstarter we're like halfway there almost we're almost halfway funded so that's amazing so jump in don't miss out we've got lots of goodies lots and lots of goodies okay look look at him look at him look how stinking cute is this and these are going to be little fidget shrooms um, because you can pop their heads just up and down and you can just you can just jiggle them so this is going to be a little um, a little sort of fidget fidget mushroom so yeah you can you can boink his head up and down <laughs> you can boink his head aren't they adorable and he the cutest little things I think I'm gonna put some on keychains as well but I have got three in this teal color these are made with um parfait chunky parfait chunky and then i've got two two of the blues and i've got two two of the purples and they are just the darlingest things they are just the darlingest things aren't they i love them so much so anyways that's what I did yesterday this this is my this is how much I crochet in one day um, when I have a full day to crochet because I don't think I really did anything else yesterday I just sort of jumped in and out crocheted on and off you know stop for lunch stop for dinner stops for this stop for that um, but in general sense this is what I did this weekend anyways that catches you up on that that catches you up on the camera so if it looks weird tell me if it looks better in the comments because i'm thinking that it's gonna i really am thinking that it's gonna so i'm having an issue <laughs> figuring out where i'm supposed to look because i was used to looking at my camera um which has the actual you know whatever um and now i'm sort of trying to look at the little dot on my camera so that i know where my or on my phone so i know where the camera portion is I feel like my eyes are darting back and forth, so excuse me while I adjust. Anyways, I'm going to be listing some more things in my fair and some more um, things on my Etsy shop this week. I'm going to continue to update those. Um, I've got an order in for some new acrylic pens. I'm going to be putting in an order for some new peeker stickers this week. Um, I need to finish the things that I want to do in the initial set of peeker stickers. I have three designs ready. Yep, so I want to design at least two more, maybe more, but I've got to get my butt on that because I'm trying to even use the express shipping from Bogress and see if I can get them turned around in time for invention. So we're going to see, we'll cross our fingers and let's see how, um, how quickly they can get that around. So the production time was like two to six days on um acrylic charms and then i paid for the express shipping um which said four to ten days so if we take it on the off sides of everything if i put my order in today then technically within 16 days i should 
I should be able to get my order. So we'll see. We'll see um, how long it actually takes for the order to get here after after paying express shipping. Okay. Um, that's all I got for now. I'm going to go do some art. I'm going to try and get some peeker stickers uh, finished up. And um, yep, yeah, I'll show you what I am working on in just a bit. All right, what's up you guys? It is Tuesday and I have had a seriously productive morning. I am, it's about 1.30 right now and I just got done um, filming, editing, and uploading today's video, which is going to go out in just a few minutes as soon as it finishes running whatever checks it needs to run and uploading completely to YouTube. Um, so I figured I would update you and show you what I made last night. I got this little dude and this little dude so two little pocket octos this is what i'm making in today's video so i'm seeing how many um little pocket octos i'm gonna use them as worry worry dolls so these are gonna be worry octos um how many i can make in an hour i made those two last night i made ooh, ooh, this little dude last night as well and then i was working on some keychains so I have made, sir, these are kind of big for keychains now, but I have made four little, four little rainbows to hang as keychains. I think they're super cute. I'm only going to make four keychains right now. I'm going to focus on some other keychains as well. So I may string up a couple of these little dudes and put them on keychains, some little bees and put them on keychains. So that's sort of what's next on the list. Uh, I'm going to be doing some art today. I have a very piece, a very exciting piece of equipment that is going to be coming in tomorrow that I can't wait to try out. I've got some tumblers coming tomorrow for sublimation as well. So I'm going to be working on some designs for sublimating um, the glass cans, sublimating tumblers. I'm getting ready for convention. Um, getting some more artwork done so I have some more new artwork to sell as prints. I think I'm going to be working on um, the witch design that I have, the little witch design with the cat is what I'm going to be finishing up next. That's going to be part of um, the line art. It's going to be part of the rewards for this month over on Patreon. So it's going to be one of the coloring sheets for all of my patrons. I just bumped the mic. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that's what I've done today. All right, what up, guys? So it is now Wednesday morning, and I did not do a single bit of crochet last night. Like, not even one little itsy bitsy thing. Um, I was in sort of a sketchy mood, so that's what I sat down and did last night. Um, I'm going to show you some of the things that I was working on. So I had sketched these out the other day, but now. I'm starting to bring them further um, further along and this little guy popped out who I think is absolutely adorable so we're gonna go here um, let's see uh, this is what I spent the most time on last night I probably spent a couple of hours on this sketch and I really really love it so yeah I spent the most time on this last night developing it I started sort of a witch piece Got sort of a witch piece here still very very rough um, and then this little guy I think is adorable as well and then this little dude up here he's not as far along but I just love him I just love him so I think I may transfer some of these over onto some mixed media paper today and and go with them um, I think that's all I worked on last night. So yeah, that's my update for this morning. I think it's going to be an art heavy day today as well. I'm going to design a few things to get ready for some sublimation. And then I should have an exciting delivery showing up sometime today, which I may not even be able to tell you about until tomorrow. Just depends on what time during the day it gets here. So I will check back with you since she gorgeous.
this is it. This is the new baby. <laughs> you can't see it all, but I'm gonna move some things around and I'm gonna set it up and then I will show you everything. All right, you guys, so I've got her over in place where my old one used to be. Don't worry, my old one is still gonna be very much in use, but I am, I needed an upgrade. All right, crisis averted. So in the bottom of the very brown box was a very brown sheet of Teflon paper or whatever you want to call that thing. I think it's silicone, Teflon, something like that. Who knows? Um, but I found, I found the instruction booklet underneath that very brown piece of paper that almost got thrown out. All right, so here we go. I've got this that I pressed with the other machine. You can see it didn't get like an even press down the bottom. It's kind of, it's kind of smushed and uneven and um, blurry. Blurry is the word that I'm looking for. So now I want to try with the new one on the other side because I mean, we might as well try. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, and I'll let you know how it comes out. All right, so I've turned it on and I don't know how to work this machine. So I had to figure it out that I didn't slide it quite all the way in and that's why it didn't press. So now we are pressing for 60 seconds at 400 degrees and we're gonna see how that comes out. So it's auto released. That came out absolutely perfect. Absolutely freaking perfect on the first go. How exciting is that? Look at how beautiful it is. All right, so I'm gonna be making some more zip pouches. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited. You just don't even know. So here is what my old one did. Just ignore the ink on the back of it now because I just put an old like test piece of paper underneath it so don't worry about that but look we had the smudging and the fuzziness on the bottom and an uneven press in general and then here's the new here's the new <laughs> I'm so excited I'm so freaking excited I do need to see if it bled at all on the inside it did not it did not bleed on the inside which is great <gasps> oh, my god. oh my god oh my god okay all right, I'm gonna go print some stuff out. All right, there is the new baby. It is perfect. I love it so much. It did such a great print on this. It was amazing. I'm looking under the light now and everything is crisp and clean and it's beautiful and I love it so freaking much. <laughs> I'm so happy. So the reason that I was able to get this is because I have never had an Amazon credit line or anything like that but amazon is actually doing a um a promotion right now where if you sign up for the actual prime visa or whatever it's called you get 150 dollars in an amazon gift card i got 150 dollars amazon gift card so that i could get this new piece of equipment um i am just in heaven so um, that is how I'm able to afford this new baby, but I needed it so bad. So this old one, like I said, it wasn't doing even presses and even on my mouse pads, let me get one. So even on the mouse pads that I was doing before, 
there was this um, small light space. Let me see if I can. Okay, it's probably going to be the easiest on this. I don't know if it will be or not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you. There's this like white space right beside Kurumi there. I hope that it's focused right here. There's this white space and it showed up on absolutely everything. Here it is. Oh. It's there. No. Anyway, it's on it was on everything. And I waited till it cooled down last time and I'm like patting up against it and it's like something was poking down through it and then as I ran my hand across it I could feel more of those things I don't know what it was I don't know if it was the age of the machine sort of just whatever is on that pad maybe is just dropping some things I don't know what it was I got the thing out I believe or I pushed it all the way to the side and I can't find it anymore or feel it anymore so I don't know if it would still be an issue I haven't tested it but yeah like these it, it came out perfect for these these came out absolutely perfect other than that little white space so it's not that the machine is bad it's just that it was a little old and was inconsistent with these I'm still gonna be using it I'm still gonna be using the flat I'm still gonna be using all of the attachments that came with it that machine is not going anywhere but it was time to upgrade to something that could give me even pressure with the amount of things that I'm about to make so it just made sense to upgrade I also <laughs> I also ordered a bajillion just a bajillion bajillion safety eyes safety eyes <laughs> I ordered a bajillion so in addition to the eyes that I am currently making right now I also ordered some of my most common sized eyes so I've got the regular blacks I ordered some kawaii the other day so I have a, a new package of those so I ordered regular blacks in three different sizes my 9 10 and 12 for my plushies are what I use the most with that then I ordered some that came with the little glitter thing so I can change the eye colors and I ordered those in my most popular color or my mo most popular sizes so I've got several box of those as well um, and yeah I ordered those in my most used sizes this is what I run out of the most and so with those multi packs the problem is I've got a bunch of sizes in there that I don't need especially the teeny tiny ones that if I was doing regular worsted weight yarn I would totally use the teeny tiny ones so they're not gonna go to um, they're not gonna not be used. but I'm not using them currently because I'm in a plushy kind of yarn bulky kind of yarn phase um, but this is my favorite purchase of all of the safety eyes they're little googly eyes they're shakeable little googly eyes how freaking awesome is that so they're a little bit larger so i'm gonna have to make some larger items to put those eyes on i think these are 18 millimeter eyes um but yeah i'm i'm super thrilled and i think i'm gonna maybe try and make a monster or something and i'm gonna put googly eyes on it because i can anyways so those are my those are my orders <laughs> Um, I'm sat here watching YouTube videos and making actual felt eyes as well. So I've got two different sizes of felt eyes and then I'm going to take them inside and I'm going to judge what I can put eyes on and what I can't put eyes on yet. Um, Bubby is laying under my desk currently and so I can't get all the way up to my desk which is just fabulous. But yeah, that's what I wanted to show you for today. Um, it's going to be an early wrapped week for me because on Friday I am going to pick up my son. Um, he's coming in from the base for his 96th for Memorial Day and I'm very very excited to see him because we haven't seen him in months. I think the last time we saw him was Christmas. Um, so yeah, my baby boy is coming home and I have to go pick him up Friday. Um, so I will definitely update you in the morning if I do crochet anything to keep it up to date with what I crocheted this week. And 
yeah and then I will close the studio vlog out so that'll make sense all right good Thursday morning everybody so um I am just gonna tell you what I crocheted last night which wasn't much I worked on um separating and organizing all of the stock that I currently have um and getting them into like separate little baggies so that it's easier for me to track my inventory um and putting eyes on like 10 15 different little animals so um, I got that done as well and moved some of those items over to my finish bin instead of my work in progress bin or my need eyes bin. Um, and then I just made three little bitty, little bitty frogs. So these are going to go in one of the bins right there um, at the front of my display. These are quick, simple, and these frogs are also good sellers. So I love those. Um, and then, yeah. That's going to wrap it up for this week. It was a short week because, like I said, I'm going to go pick up my son tomorrow from base, uh, which is about a seven-hour trip, round round trip. Um, so I'm going to be gone for the majority of the day. And, uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for making it to the end. Leave a red heart down in the comments. Um, because I have got these new tumblers and new glasses, if you have a design, um, anything that you can think of um, that you would like to see sort of in my style, maybe on one of these cups or a mouse mat or a um, zipper pouch or anything like that leave those down in the comments because I'm going to be working toward making a bunch of new designs for those kinds of things specifically especially the sublimation tumblers I'm really looking forward to like designing an entire tumbler because I've never done that before um, so yeah drop some design ideas down in the comments with your red heart uh i will see you next week next tuesday in a probably crochet vlog sort of video um and then again with the studio vlog next friday so i love your faces so much thank you for watching uh it means the world don't forget to support the kickstarter um if you can't support financially a share means more than you can know um and if you don't need an enamel pin or enamel pins are not your thing there are also mini prints and uh stickers available of the little mushroom girl um and even those smaller amounts of support really go a long way to helping us reach our goal which we are halfway to um so we need to we've got about eight days left to get that other half in and i would appreciate any support you can muster i really would um, I would love to bring her to life. She's going to make a beautiful pen. Anyways, I love your faces so much. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. I hope you all have an amazing weekend. Um, yeah, have a good one. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye.